Hey guys, BBI here. I want to stop and say thanks. Thanks for tuning in and checking out whatever the video is about that's about ready to come up next. If you could take a minute and hit subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy what you've seen here, make sure to hit the like button. We'd greatly appreciate your support. Anyhow, guys, all that aside, let's get on with the show. Howdy ho, neighbors. Today on BBI's Mr. Neighborhood, we're going to take ourselves a look at a gray 300. This is the most pristine version of a virgin version of a gray 300 I've, I've seen in a while. Um, this is a continuation of the Mr. V project. And uh, the amp works physically on the transmit side, but all the other stuff doesn't work. The sideband delay and preamp does not work, so we're going to have to repair both of those things, and it all comes back to switch issues here in the front but we'll come back to that here in a minute let's go over here and let's take a look for what it's doing this is a thousand watt slug in forward thousand watt on average oh hold on thousand watt in an average and a five watt slug in reverse back from the bird 10,000 watt dummy load so first let's shut the amp off one, 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 one. We're on 14 volts. We're gonna put about 20, 25 ish watts into it. Hello. Just a hair over 400, about 410. That's on high or max. Now we're gonna go to high. Hello. About 400 watts. We're gonna go to medium. Hello. About 300. And now we're gonna go to low. Hello. Also about 300. Um, it's very rare anymore to be able to see one of these in its stock configuration without having the entire front end of it burn completely to the ground. And you're like, well front end, what are you talking about BBI? I'm talking about this. This amplifier was made for a different era. It was made for back when people only had themselves like a 15 or a 20 watt radio, not a 100 watt radio. Yes, it is a four transistor unit. No, you cannot drive this with your striker. This has got four MRF 455 small body transistors in it. And you want to drive this with just like a 25 watt radio, like a regular Cobra 25 or a Cobra 29. Um, I don't know how they can consider this sideband capable when it's 100% ground. See this choke? See how it goes directly to ground? It makes this a Class C amplifier. It is what it is, very clear. But on the front, we have this little switch, FM or AM or sideband. Now the receive amp is not working, but when we bypass, reach in here and now our preamp light lights up, but we have no receive. As in the receive drops out, it's dead. That's this transistor right here. This is our keying transistor, this is our preamp relay, this is our preamp transistor right here. So we've got to replace it. Our sideband delay is also in op, but if we come in and we jumper it with a screw driver, the relay goes into delay, which means these two switches are dirty and they're no longer conducting. So that means we need to remove them. So we have full function, meters working fine. Hello, one, two, one, two. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio. Hello. Amp's working fine. It's the little details we're having a hard time with. So, First thing is I'm going to pop these two switches out of the front. We're going to clean them real quick, get the, get the actual circuitry working. So we're going to get the sideband delay working and get the preamp circuit to work. And then we'll come back and we'll replace this transistor. So give me just a hot minute and we'll be back to check, this, check the switches. Okay, so...
fix the preamp, and come to find out what was wrong with the preamp, it wasn't the transistor, it was the relay contacts were dirty. So I took the relay apart and cleaned it. And now we're off to the races and running. So the only thing left to here show off is, hello, I got it at average. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. There's a sideband delay. completely rebuilt that switch. Now it doesn't want to work. What the uh, holy hell, or is it working and the cap's just gone bad finally? No. Hmm. Well, Let's pull the switch out one more freaking time and rebuild it again. I took it apart and cleaned it. It's working now. So we'll run with that. So this is 100% right. The inside of it's in really good shape. As far as a gray goes, this is probably the best living example I've had come through this bench in probably the last five years. Um, it does come with these long power wires on it. Very long, very adequate power wires. This connection is a little bit wonky wonk, but it'll work. Fuse holders installed, so pretty much ready to go drop into mobile and run. Um, the only downside to it is somebody got really carried away and they put these four giant holes in the side, which I went and I put plugs in. And if the case is that big of a deal to you guys, it's, you know, the great white gray hunter, gray amplifier hunter. If it's that big of a deal to you guys, I will gladly pop these out and for no additional charge, repaint this lid. Because it could use with a little a spot, of, a spot of paint on it. It's been painted a couple times as you can see. But it take nothing to shoot some paint on this and make it look pretty. You know what, I think I'm gonna do that anyhow, just cause. Give me just a minute here. I gotta tell you, a little bit of paint does wonders. This cabinet cleaned right up. I just went and I hit the whole thing with acetone, um, peeled off all the old paint, and shot this real quick with some brand new acrylic. This thing cleaned up perfectly. It looks like brand new now on the outside. Well, that's it. That's the end of this conversation, I swear. Hello, one, two, one, two. Turn the sideband delay off. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, audio. So, gray 300 in mint condition with upgraded power wires, a whole nine yards in it. Um... And there's really no power wire modifications to do on the inside of it since each section this two pill section here and the one that's in the back, they both have their own independent power wires. So I didn't really need to do a whole lot in there. Just fix all the cosmetic stuff and make it actually work properly. Um, honestly, this is probably worth 375 to 400 bucks. Um, we'll go with 375 and that's where it sits. So 375 plus the ride. We're gonna leave it right there. Well, gentlemen, endeavoring on. This is part whatever it is of the Mr. V project. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to go. Ten more to go. <laughs> so, continuing on. I appreciate every single one of you guys that are somehow managing to hold on to watch every one of these. I mean, I'm slowly watching the YouTube numbers go. Don't matter. They're going to be out there. Um, if you're really interested in getting this, I am going to release this video over the weekend. Don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me a text. Hey man, I want this box. I'm here. That's what I'm here for. This is my J-O-B. So shoot me a text. We'll get her done. And I'll mark the video as sold and we can all move on with our lives. 
Gentlemen, my name is BBI, and without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. I want to say thanks for watching, tuning in, and being part of the team. Big shout out to Siglent, Access Power, Coaxial Dynamics, and Bird. We'll see you guys. Bump bump. Bye.